Hi. Okay. Right, today's video tutorial is going to be about adjusting the intonation in your guitar. Now, it's not an easy one to explain why you need to do that, but it's very, very easy to do. So, I'm going to try and explain it the best I can. Okay, so what we're concerned with is you've got your guitar tuned to pitch, okay, with all the strings. Close, but no, no cigar there with the tuning. But your open fretted strings will be to pitch, okay? So now what we need to do is find out whether the pitch of that string is exactly the same and in tune when we fret the 12th fret, okay? Now, obviously the only way to find that out is with your tuner. And so, to explain it in relatively simple terms, what we're concerned with is the distance between the 12th fret and the top of the bridge where the string touches the top of the saddle needs to be exactly the same as from the nut to the 12th fret. Now, if we pluck that note and that note seems sharp, the reason we have a sharp note is because that distance from the 12th fret to the top of the saddle is too short. Now, to make that to change the pitch of that string, we need to lengthen the string slightly. And how we do that is by taking a little Phillips head screwdriver and looking at the little adjustment screw here, which on this Gibson style adjustomatic bridge is the pickup side. And on this, to adjust the saddle, to move it further down the end of the guitar, i.e. lengthening that string measurement from there to there, we need to move that saddle that way, only ever so slightly. We're only talking millimetres. So what we'd, what we'd need to do in this case, we would turn the screw anti-clockwise. And that would make that little, that little saddle there, because of the thread of the screw, travel that way. And that would lengthen, lengthen that string ever so slightly, because you've changed the contact point. You've changed the contact point there slightly by a mil or two, and then you'd come back and you'd pluck that string again, and you'd see whether that, whether that gauge was bang in the middle, or if it was over that way, that would mean the string's sharp, so that would be the string's too short, and if it was that way, the string's too long. So that's effectively what adjusting your intonation means. You're making the length of the string longer or shorter at that contact point between the 12th fret and the saddle it sits on. Because as you can imagine, the length of the string from the nut to the 12th fret doesn't change. That's never going to alter. It's not adjustable. That's set with the scale length of your guitar, whether it's a Gibson 24 and 3 quarter inch or a Fender 25 and a half inch or a PRS 25, then I mean if you change if you change the gauge of string on your guitar you can guarantee your intonation will be out and you'll have to do and you will have to do this. So looking at the gauge like you're looking at a gauge now, if you were looking at your tuner and you've got that needle that sits dead upright like that, dead vertically for in tune. If it's sharp like that, you need to lengthen that string. And if it's flat, you need to shorten the string, but only by the barest little millimeters. Keep on checking it. Do I'd recommend if you need to adjust it one way or the other, you'll need to turn it one rotation, I'd say. Just turn it one turn of the screwdriver, that's all you need to do. Go back and check it and see where you are. Don't overdo it, otherwise you'll end up having to come back the other way because you've over adjusted. Every time you adjust that little, those screws, 
you're going to need to retune that string to pitch before you test it on the 12th fret. So you're going to need to retune it, retune the open string, then check it at the 12th. Little gradually, little by little, that will that will auto, and you'll get it, and you'll get it absolutely bang on. Now I'm going to show you a Fender Stratocaster type bridge setup with the individual saddle, saddles rather than the adjustomatic. And as you can see, it creates a certain pattern from the low E. It steps up three, and then from there up to the high E, it steps up. It, that string comes down, and then it goes back up again. So it recreates two sets of steps, style pattern. Once you've got it perfectly intonated, it will emulate something like that. But sadly, we can't we can't adjust these saddles just merely by <coughs> excuse me by measuring the length of the string from the twelfth to the to the bridge. It needs to be done on a tuner to make it, to make sure it's absolutely bang on. And these are adjusted in exactly the same way with the little screws underneath there at the bottom plate. And the only difference with this style of bridge is you turn the screws the opposite way to get that desired effect. So you'd you turn these screws clockwise from the from the bottom of your guitar. So if you imagine that set of that bridge set up will be there on your guitar. To get that to get that string longer to lengthen the string from the 12th to the top of the saddle, you'd be turning that screw clockwise. And that would make that little saddle travel down closer to the end here. Or if you loosened it by turning it anti-clockwise, it would then travel up that way. And it's pushed back up that way by the, by the springs at the bottom here. So if your string was sharp, don't forget, sharp would be that way you would turn this clockwise and that would draw this this saddle down and it would lengthen the string so sharp a sharp string from the 12 to the to the to the bridge i'm confusing myself means that the string's too short and you need to lengthen it so you need to be pulling you're pulling that saddle that saddle effectively away down away from the 12th fret so that lengthens the length of that string and vice versa the other way. If it's flat, you need to shorten that string. We're only talking millimeters, so don't overdo it. Have confidence in what you're doing. You can't seriously bugger up anything by doing this if you take it in little tiny incremental steps. Don't overdo it, don't go mad, keep on checking. Once you've adjusted, once you've adjusted that little screw by that one turn, as I recommended, go back, retune your guitar again and then check it at the 12th fret. Keep on doing that little by little, and then your guitar, in the end, will be perfectly in tune. Not only on the open string, but at the 12th fret as well. Brilliant. Until next time, take it easy. Farewell.